I'm sure you're asking, what qualifications do I have to be called doctor? Well, I did graduate in the lower half of my high school class, and it was a rather stupid class overall. I have written three New York Times bestseller. The only person in the world who's written more books than he's read. I have four honorary doctor degree, and my mother loves me. With those qualifications, let's go to our first call. Hey, Coach O, this is Tim Tebow. You know, there's a lot of talk about me winning a second Heisman Trophy, but I really like to lead the Gators to a SEC championship. So my question to you is, how do I stay focused on getting to Atlanta? Well, Tim, that's a great question. Remember this. The good Lord put eyes in front of your head rather than back so you can see where you're going rather than where you've been. And if you want to lead them to an SEC championship, Tim, you have to be significant. And significant is when you help other people be successful, and I'm referring to your teammates. How do you do that? By encouraging them, by being positive. And when you walk in the room, your attitude can't be, hey, here I am. I'm Tim Tebow. I won the Heisman. But it has to be, there you are. How can I help you? You're a special friend. Next question. Coach Holtz, I guess I should say Dr. Holtz. This is Lloyd Carr in Ann Arbor, Michigan. Since I retired from coaching, my putting and chipping have been dismal. And I'm hoping that you might have some advice to help me improve my game. <laughs> Well, I can't help improve your chipping and putting any more than I can help you as a coach because you're outstanding. But I can give you some advice. When you go to the course, Lloyd, take your wallet. Those three-foot putts the alumni gave you when you were winning as a coach, they ain't going to do it anymore. And I also want to say this, Lloyd. Don't go live in a town where the average age is ceased. Make sure you always have four things in your life, Lloyd. Something to do, someone to love, something to hope for, something to believe in. If you do, your life outside of football will be as fulfilling as it was inside football. Thanks for calling. And now our closing thought for the week. If you want some great advice, don't ask Dr. Lou. Ask your spouse. There's no one who loves you anymore, wants to see you succeed anymore, be any more honest with you. My wife not only somebody I love dearly, she's my best friend. And remember this, behind every successful person stands a very surprised mother-in-law. See you next week.